Namaste guys, Ashish here for Namaste Tech and in this video we have Redmi Note 4 with us and we are going to talk about MR Remote that comes within the app. Now Redmi Note 4 has a infrared sensor which is right here. So it works with your TV, television, AC and it can act as a universal remote with almost all brands. So we are going to show you how to set it up. Now look for a MI remote app here, which is right on your home screen. Probably you need to swipe left or right to figure it out where it is. Once you find it, make sure your TV is on and you have proper internet connection because without internet, the MI remote doesn't seem to work at least for the setup. So when you set it up, you need the internet working because it pulls up the list of compatible devices and configuration from the internet. Once you launch it, you'll get a screen like this where it shows the MI remote and the TV and other devices that you can connect with and you have an add device option. Now you can see parallelly on the screen that I have my LG TV and I'm going to configure that. So hit on add device or add remote and you get a ton of options here. So you have got MI TV thing, you have got the TV, the regular TV, then you have got setup boxes, AC, fan, then you have AV receiver, you have got DVD players, you have also got projector and camera. So you can see it supports plethora of devices that you can connect with. Since I have a TV, I'm going to do that, but let's open up a couple of them. So when you open a couple of them, you get to see the list of brands that are actually supported so you have almost all of them configured here and it needs internet connection so make sure you have it i'm going to tap on tv and you can see you have got devices list here now lg tv which is on the top so i'm going to select this now while setting up make sure your tv and the mi phone the redmi note 4 phone is aligned so it's able to see the sensor so the sensor should be able to send a signal to each other. Now it says point the remote at TV and press the button release when TV responds. So make sure to look at the TV screen which is in PIP mode right now. So we're going to tap on this and you can see the TV actually turned off and release it. So and it turned on as well because I had it kept pressed. Now once done now it asks you, does the device turn on or off? Say yes, because it worked for me. And you can see it's pretty straightforward to configure. Now it doesn't ask you for anything else about the model or something because it works on the universal protocols. So now you can say living room, LG TV, or if it's a study room TV or it's a dining room TV, you can set it up. So if you have multiple devices at home, multiple, LG TV at home, you can differentiate between that. Now we'll say paired and you get this remote like controls on the screen. This is similar to what I have on the actual remote, which I'm going to show you. You can see here that almost the same way you have and most of the options are actually supported. Now let's do a bit of fiddling around to see what are the things that work. Now power on off, I already showed you. We'll do with the mute button. So I'm going to tap on mute and it did mute. Then you have option to go home or select input sources and other stuff. We also have menu here. So it pops up the menu on the TV and then you can navigate using this control over here. So you can go around between them and change it. So if I select input, say okay, and give me option of all the inputs. Now I can go back using the back button here. Now there's another option of input source here, which works just exactly as what we were doing before. If you use the menu, you get the input option right here, so you can choose that. So this is very easy to set it up. MI Remote has been very easy to set it up and I can tell you one more thing that there was a bug in the previous version of MI Remote where an already configured TV, if you delete it, you cannot actually add it again. That thing is gone because I've tested this before. 
So I'll go back and you can see all your list of your devices here. If you want, you can do a long press and you can delete or edit it. So when you go to edit, it just asks you to change the name, nothing else. That said, there is also option of changing the vibrate mode. So if you want your vibration to be off, if that's annoying for you, you can do that. But I'll recommend you to actually keep it turned on so you get a feedback if something actually happened. So guys, thanks for watching. That was how you can configure MI remote with your TV, be it smart TV, be it, be it MI TV, be it AC or be it audio video input. You can configure with all of them. The basic requirement is having an infrared port on both the devices. So Redmi Note 4 has and the TVs should have. It's completely free to hit the like button. We're also coming up with Redmi Note 4 tips and tricks for you to learn more about what's on MIUI 8. So guys, thanks for watching.